Dear story lady, my daughter Shannon is too young to do it, so I'm writing to tell you how much she enjoys your show. In fact, I like it too, and try to watch with her when I can. It's nice to know somebody cares enough to put on such a good children's show. Keep up the good work. Sincerely, Barbara Witowski. P.S. Shannon sends the enclosed for you. <laughs> How come we know they're getting letters like that? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody in this house have homework tonight? Besides me? After the story, lady. Come watch it with me. Sorry, sweetie. I have hours of reading here. But go ahead and watch. It won't bother me. Okay. Today we're going to read the 12 dancing princesses, or the shoes that dance themselves to pieces. This was my daughter's favorite story when she was a little girl. I think because she didn't take very good care of her shoes either. <laughs> there was once upon a time a king who had 12 beautiful daughters. They all slept together in one chamber in which their beds stood side by side. And every night when they were in them, the king locked the door and bolted it. But in the morning when he unlocked the door, he saw that their shoes were worn out with dancing and no one could find out how this had come to pass. So the king proclaimed that whosoever should discover where they dance at night should choose one of them for his wife and be king after his death. Thereupon, the king asked the brave soldier which of them he would have to wife. He answered, I'm no longer young, your majesty, so give me the eldest. Then the wedding was celebrated on the selfsame day and the kingdom was promised him after the king's death. <laughs>